Lunibear is one of my favorite animatronic characters, not only because of his charming personality, but also because despite his very limited amount of movements, he's able to achieve a very realistic motion. In this video, we'll dive inside his barrel to take a look at the very well-designed mechanisms that make him work. But first, let me introduce myself. My name is Jorge, and I built many animatronics, some of which you might recognize from places like Build Channel or FastPass Facts. So let's begin. I'll start with the most interesting mechanism for me, the way he goes up and down of his barra. Probably because creative engineering didn't want to make a hole at the bottom of every stage and wanted the animatronic to be self-contained, they went for a very particular type of actuator from the brand Tolomatic, called a band cylinder actuator, which is basically a normal pneumatic cylinder, but instead of having a rod, it has a cable that goes all the way around and uses some pulleys and o-rings to block the air trying to escape. Then the whole head and neck assembly ride in a pair of rods with the help of linear bearings, which guide the head up. Then it's the turn of a very simple yet effective mechanism, which turns the head and also does the very characteristic wobble which make it seem very organic. This mechanism is called a double acting cylinder and it's connected to a lever in a rod. This rod is secured by a pair of bearing holders to the rising assembly and also to a spring which acts as the neck and gives it the wobble I was talking about. So far we've talked about the mechanisms that are on the outside of the head, but what about the ones that actually make Looney Bird seem like a living character? That's right, I'm talking about the eyes and the mouth. The mouth mechanism is the simplest one. It's just a double lactic cylinder connected to a lever that's why its name is the mouth lever, and is in charge of moving the latex mask and make him talk. At last, but not least, we have the Lunibird eyes. Lunibird eyes don't move to both sides. Instead, they only have the ability to cross. This is achieved by two small single acting cylinders positioned on opposite side of the head. When they open, they push a small lever connected to the bottom of the eyes by a bolt and this makes the eyes cross. But what about the eyelids? Well, the eyelids are hinged and actuated by yet another pair of small cylinders. When they are actuated, they turn around the center of the eyeball, making him look as if he was closing his eyelids. This covers all the movements of the classic Looniverse produced by Creative Engineering for Showbiz Pizza. I hope you enjoyed these videos so much as I did making it. And don't forget to like and share this video, and also leave in the comments if you want me to analyze another character's mechanism. Thanks for watching this video, and here are some other videos you might like. See you soon.